Hi guys, it's Andrew here from East of Made Wood Splitters today and welcome back to the East of Made channel. I am out here in my own garage here. I am cleaning up the wife's uh, vehicle here. We've, uh, we got back from renting there last week and it was pretty dirty after having a bunch of kids in it there for, uh, for that long. So it definitely needed a bit of a scrub and a vacuum. And if you have kids, you know exactly, exactly what I'm talking about. Um, anyways guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a video here today and I'm gonna tell you guys a little tidbit that nobody really ever talks about for entrepreneurs and people that are getting into a blue collar type business, whether it be firewood, whether you're into a trade, plumbing, welder, electrician. Um, if you're getting into any business, this is going to apply for you. I see so many people get into business and they are one, really ambitious, really. Um, two, they're really good at what they do. They're tradespeople. They're really exceptional. They're good. They know what's going on. Three, the third one, they normally miss it. They don't know the business end of it. They don't want to be a businessman. If, you want, if you're going to get into business, the first thing you have to do is you have to want to be in business. You have to want it. That's exactly it. You, you got to want to be in business and be in business for yourself and be able to take the good with the bad with it, guys. Because there's a lot of jobs that when you get into doing a business and you're a typical tradesperson, whatever, there's a lot of things that you're going to have to learn that are normally outside of your scope of expertise and your realm of, uh, of what you want to do. If you're somebody that hates working on a computer, despises it, this ain't for you, not in this day and age. Um, the big thing that I have learned that I've seen a lot of people do is you have to know, again, you have to know the business end of it, guys. So you gotta know the taxes, you've gotta know, you've gotta know how money flows into the business. You've gotta stay on top of it. You can't go, you can't go into the end of the accountants at the end of the year, hand them a bunch of re re receipts and expect to know where the hell you stand throughout the year. You have to be able to do this on, on a fairly regular basis, hopefully on a weekly, if not a monthly basis. You have to be able to put your receipts, your expenses, your sales, everything into QuickBooks or Sage or some sort of accounting platform like that so you know if you're making money or not. Without that, you'll have no idea and one, you're going to be stressed out. You're going to be pulling your hair out because you have no idea where you stand. And you're going to be taking that out on everybody else around you. You're going to be taking it out on your family, your friends. You're going to be stressed out. That is not any possible way to live, guys. Do not do that to yourself. Make sure that you are up to date on all that stuff and you're looking at it on a fairly regular basis so you know... You know where you are. If you don't know where you are, you don't know whether you got to increase your prices by, by a couple of points. Um, and in most, in most situations, guys, that is the difference between making money and not making money it is a couple of percent. If, if you raise your prices 10% and you're doing a million dollars of the business, a hundred thousand dollars a year, a year, guys, it makes a world of difference if you're actually doing business. Well, what's 10%? If you have a hundred dollar service or a hundred dollar product you're doing every hour or whatever, and you add ten dollars to it, that's ten percent. That's what it is. That's ten percent, five percent. It makes at the end of the day, guys, that extra little bit is the difference between you actually being successful and you just barely scraping by. And you don't need to get greedy about it, guys. Don't. If you get greedy about it, that's not the way to. Way to be. I think Kevin O'Leary says, uh, what's he say? Something gets fad and pigs get slaughtered or something. I'm not quite sure. There's some, some sort of thing there that Kevin O'Leary says. He's absolutely right. You don't want to gouge people. You don't want to, you don't want to be like that. You want to just make sure that you're running a viable business that's sustainable and that can grow. You gotta be able to do that guys. And again, if you don't have if you don't have the drive to do that, if you don't have the drive to work with people every day, if you don't have the drive to work with employees, if you get up and you don't want to go in and see your employees, you're in the wrong business, guys. You don't, you don't want to be in business. That's the key part of that. Um, you can get along with just not having employees. That's fine. That's no problem at all, guys. If you want to work like that, if you want to work by yourself, nothing against that. That's fantastic, wonderful for you. But if you're 
want to scale the business, if you want to grow, you can only do so much by yourself. You, you can't do more. You can do as much as one person can do in one day. And well, what happens if you want to get more people? It's hard, so hard to find good people. You have to train them, guys. And you can't willy-nilly just throw somebody into the job and expect them to know, know what's going on. They're never going to know. Even if they've done the job before, they don't know how you want it done. They don't, guys. you got to be able to show them how you want it done. And nine times out of ten, that person wants to do it the way that you want it done, the same as you want to do it the way your customer wants it done, so it turns out good for them. It's the same thing. It's the mentality of people. That's the key here, guys, is you, you got to remember that everybody wants to do well when, when you're dealing with employees and you just have to, you have to give them the tools in order to do that. And then as you continue to grow and stuff starts happening, they can train the next person, the next person. And then and eventually you have a whole group of people that want to work for you, that know what's going on, that are, that are exceptional at their job. And you're so happy with what they're doing. You can't, you, you can't say enough good things about that. I, believe me, I'm there. I, I got, I have 55 employees, I don't think I've got a single bad one. I've got just such an exceptional bunch of people to work with that want to come to work and want to do a good job, and it makes life so much easier, guys. Um, but again, if you don't want to work with people and you don't want to do that, you get frustrated or easily irritated by somebody, again, it's probably not for you. I, the wife always, always pokes fun at me because I have a very, very high tolerance for people, I find. I, I love everybody. I really do. Like if you see me out there and you want to say hello, stop by and say hello because I am more than willing to see you. I love it. I just, I love being around people. I have very, I don't get irritated by people. It takes an awful, awful, <laughs> awful lot to get me irritated by somebody. Um, but if you are someone that's easily agitated, irritated by people, one, you're not going to be able to have employees. Two, you're not going to be able to have customers. Those are the two things you got to have, guys. So, Again, if you're going to be in business, you have to want to be a business person. You want to have to be in business. You want to, you're going to, you're, going to, you're somebody that wants to know the inner workings of how stuff functions, how, how stuff goes in and out of the business. Am I the best at it? No. Nope. I will tell you right now, this guy is not. However, I can normally try, I can normally navigate things at a fairly decent level once I put my mind to it and, and, and solve a lot of issues. And you have to be able to want to do that in order to do that. So again, if you're gonna be into a blue collar business, if you wanna be an entrepreneur, you wanna get into working for yourself, um, you can be the greatest at whatever trade it is, whatever job you do, you have to want to be in business and learn that end of it. Because if not, you're just setting yourself up for failure. Um, and have a plan for the future. I'm not much of a planner guy, but I know kind of roughly the tra 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 trajectory and direction I want to go. So make sure that, that is something that, that you have at least an idea of where you want to be, where your profit margin you think it should be, where you want it to be. Um, every business is going to be different. Um, every business is going to have different expenses. Every business is going to be, again, they're going to be different, but you want to make sure that at the end of the day that you are being profitable you want to make sure that you have stuff in you have to be able to check to see if you're profitable and know if you're actually there or not um anyways guys if you liked the video give it a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button at the bottom like i said i just i was cleaning the vehicle out there i thought you know what i i really want to do this because i really hope it helps somebody out i hope somebody takes something out of it and can make something out of it and hopefully can change their perspective or again i just i hope it helps somebody out I really hope to see you guys on the next one. Take care.